Today I'm going to show you how to make CV1 and CV2 gadgets work together. So to start out we are going to get a CV1 trigger volume. Then we're going to go ahead and configure it so that it looks for objects. And then we want it to look for a certain tag. I'm going to have it look for the tag of like. Next, we're just going to make a maker pin object. It can be a cube. It can be a ribbon. It can really be whatever you want it to be. And you are going to add a different tag than the tag you have that looking for. So for this one, I'm going to add in the subscribe tag. Then we're going to scroll all the way down and hit can modify with circuit. Now what you want to do is take this cube and move it inside the trigger zone. So the reason that this works is because two chips just came out of beta. We have the add tag chip and we've got a remove tag chip. The way that this works is we are going to have some CV2 trigger. Once we hit it, it will add the tag to that object. Then this will start detecting, oh, there is an object in here with the like tag. And then after some amount of seconds, we will remove it. Or if you don't want to remove it, you don't have to. So let's go ahead and get whatever our trigger is. We'll just use a CV2 trigger volume. All right, so once we have this, we're gonna connect player enter to add tag. And then we need to find the target that we're gonna add a tag to. That target is that cube in there. And we will use a get object first with tag. We're gonna go ahead and hook that up to the target on the add tag and the target on the remove tag. So the object we have in here already has the subscribe tag on it. So in order to get that object to output here, we need to change this to subscribe. And then the tag we want to add to it is the tag that the trigger zone is looking for, which for us was like. So add in the like tag. We're also gonna go over to the remove and say to remove the like tag just so we can kind of see for example. We'll just do a three second delay. So we can use look at gizmos, we can use animation gizmos, we can use you know, any gizmo really, or even chips that are in CV1. I'm gonna do two things today. Number one, I'm gonna just activate it just to show you that it works. And number two, the main reason that I wanted to use it was to have two different animations. So right now, because the cube does not have the tag, therefore the trigger volume is not triggering because there's nothing in it that has the tag it's detecting for. But when I touch this, it'll add the tag and it'll say, hey, there's one thing in here. After three seconds, it will remove the tag. So here we go. Simple. All right, and just for the main example of what I wanted to show you guys is like the difference between having a walking animation and a kill animation for like a monster. Cause that's essentially how we want to start using this by the end of it. So right now we've got a compare chip and whenever zero is in the trigger zone, it makes animation one go, which is the walking animation. And then once something is in the zone, this will flip it and this will be zero and this will be one, which will activate the kill animation, which you'll see it'll be a little bit different. And then I have the delay set up to be exactly how long that this animation takes. So that once this gets done and once that flips back, it'll go back to this spinning kind of walking animation that we have. So when I touch trigger zone, adds the thing, switches to the other animation. As soon as the kill animation gets done, switches back to the walking animation. That's the main reason that I wanted this. Now I do want to give credit to the person that showed me how to do this in the first place. His name was Junkboy76, and then his friend Swift Ducky actually was the one that showed him how to do it. So thank you both for, for letting me know how to do this. It really saved me and probably other people a lot of frustration and time. If you like this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one. What do you think? Are they right? RCL man out. Did I get you 9%? Thank you for being this far in the video. I appreciate it. Throw a, con a game controller in the comments. Bye.